I'm going to show you some GUI tips, tips that you can use in your program, um, stuff that you can use in your pet to enhance, just to make small enhancements in your pet. Okay, first one is with the edit box. The edit box has a property password char. And if you change this password char to something like a star and the user type something in that edit box, it will actually be hidden. So if you want to give your edit box a little bit of a more professional look when you type in your password, you can use that password char property. You can basically make it anything here. Okay, that's first tip. Another tip that you can use is you can actually enable or disable your objects or components so you can still display the edit box but if you don't want the user to enter something or you don't want to make a button um, usable yet because the user m might need to enter some information somewhere first before you can use that button okay so the button is disabled then the user must first enter his name or his surname and then the button will become enabled again and then you can use that button remember you can also code this you don't only need to change it in the object inspector if you want to disable a button using coding you can say button one dot enabled you can just see it's a boolean variable and you can just set it to false and if your conditions are met you can enable it again make it enabled true Okay, so you don't need to change everything in the object inspector only. It's maybe a good idea to set a few stuff on the, the activate, on form activate. As soon as the form is activated, you can enable or disable your buttons. Okay, another one. Not a lot of people know this one, but in the edit box, there's a property. Just look for it. numbers only okay so if i make it true numbers only you the user will only be allowed to enter numbers in this edit box so let me just enable it first true okay it's set to numbers only So if you want to use the edit box for a person's age or something like that or a student number or ID number and you don't want the user to enter anything else than numbers you can use that numbers only property and it will actually show you unacceptable character you can only type a number here okay so I know you can also code it but I think this is a quick way or at least a kind of a shortcut so that uh, you can prevent the user from entering something else in into your edit box okay and then the other one is the hint you can use hints enter numbers only 
and then we go to show hint show hint just make it true and when you go over that edit box it will show the user that hint enter numbers only Okay, so that was to show a hint. You can put hints on all your components. Especially if the user needs to enter something, you can maybe explain to him the format that he needs to enter it or that this field is mandatory, stuff like that. Um, the last one is read only. Also use read only. then the user will not be able to enter something in there as well maybe if you only want to make your field read only yeah so there's some or a few tips of how to make your program a little bit more user friendly